What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top two picks. Only two today because there's only four NBA games today unfortunately. But I'm going to be going over my top two picks for Thursday, February 1st. Happy February guys. I hope you guys started the year off great with your January. Um, had a great night last night. I don't know if you guys know. Um, I went to the Charlotte game. Um, Hornets kept it close. I mean I think it was a tie game. Um, in the third, in the third quarter, it was a tie game, and that fourth quarter, we just let them get the lead. But um, it was definitely interesting seeing them keep it close versus the Bulls. Obviously, the Bulls were without Levine, but we had no Mello, we had no Gordon Hayward, we had no Lowry, we had nobody playing. So, um, so that was a uh, kind of odd to see us keeping it close. But unfortunately, bet wise, um, in the VIP, I made a few. These were not official plays by any means. I even told people these are just for fun plays. Um, but the people I thought would like pop off did absolutely nothing. Like Cody Martin, for example. Um, we did get his signature though, so that, that was fun. But I had a great time sitting courtside. I had plenty of people sending me screenshots of me on the broadcast at, uh, on, on, in my Discord. Really fun uh, experience, but... Overall, yesterday, bad day. I think we went one and two, so one out of three picks hit on the free picks. Let's bounce back today, guys. Um, new month, new us, you know. Um, but we, we've been on a heater, so, I mean, we were due for some regression. We were due for one or two bad days anyways. Um, feeling really comfortable with uh, three or four different picks today, especially. So I'm going to give you guys my top two today, and one of them is actually on this uh, popular tab. But before we get into it, if you guys are interested in that VIP, you get access to a Discord full of like-minded individuals. The main goal is to make money long-term. Um, now, we have fun in there. You're allowed to have fun. But the one thing that I pride myself in the community is... You're not going to have people that just try and argue. You're not going to have people like cursing you out because you asked a question. I try and make this like such a nice and civil community. And I, I'm really proud of myself for the way that I have done that thus far. That's one thing that a lot of people compliment me on is the gambling community can be very hostile at times. And I try and make this a safe place where everyone is just here to make money, like share your thoughts. I post every single play that I personally play. We've had one losing month out of, I think, 14 or 15 now. I, I would have to count how many months we've actually been going. But I did keep a Google Sheet up until last year, um, up until the middle of last year. And then I'm trying to get the Google Sheet going again this year. And it'll keep track of every single prop that I play, every single exact slip, so that we can take a look at exact prop hit rate, slip hit rate, how many units up and down every month, etc. Just to like help you guys actually see how much we're profiting in VIP. But it's great. We do sports book bets, prize picks, underdog chalkboard, VIP watch parties, VIP only giveaways that I do pretty much once a month, maybe twice a month. Highly recommend it guys. $20 a month. You can't beat that value. And if you sign up to underdog, chalkboard, better, sleeper, under uh, prize picks, use code TTL, get a 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks, and get a free week of VIP for each one you use my code on. But let's get into this. We're going to be using DG Fantasy and Outlier for our research. On Outlier, you can use, code, uh, use my link in the description for a free week. DG Fantasy, use code LIMIT for 25% off your first month. Now, I did find some of these on DG Fantasy, and unfortunately, they were taken off already. Um, because I, I'm assuming because the, uh, other plays went up and down, and then because um, it got bumped. But we can take a look here. We can see if we can find one that I do like. Let me refresh it real quick. But you can see DG Fantasy is a great app. It shows you the prize picks line. You can do underdog parlay play, whatever app you play on, really. And um, it shows you the player, what stat they're taking over or under, what the line is, the odds of it hitting according to the odds on sports books. And it shows you every sports book and the odds they have for that prop going over or under. So this is a big help for initially finding props. And then I use outlier.bet to dig deep into those bets. Um, so one of my most comfortable picks of the day is Markkinen. 
And we can see he's actually a popular play. I'm taking his over eight and a half rebounds. And we can see this is minus 125 on FanDuel, minus 135 on DraftKings, and minus 119 on Caesars. Over his last 10, he's cast this in 7 out of 10. And in 2023, he's cast this in 22 out of 39 games with a 56% hit rate. At home, that does increase quite a bit to a 65% hit rate, 11 of 17. And at home, he has cast this in five straight games in a row. In general, he's went over this in 10 of his last 13 games. So absolutely been crushing it. And we could also see they're against the 76ers tonight. And Philadelphia are missing all of their key players. Embiid is out. Um, that, that's the big one, right? That, I mean, that's the really big one is Embiid is out. So um, I forget who else. Um, I had it pulled up somewhere in my second monitor. But um, Maxi is a uh, game time decision. Embiid is out. Covington's still out. Melton's out. Morris is a game time decision. Batum's a game time decision. Like everyone on the 76ers is either game time decision or out. So I'm loving this spot with, spot with Markinen. He was able to rest last night. He didn't have a game last night. And um, he's been crushing this line in general already. Now, I will say the 76ers rebounds defense. They're 18th in the league for rebounds allowed. Versus power forwards, they're actually 24th in the league. So they're already allowing a ton of rebounds allowed to power forwards. And they're missing those key players, especially Embiid. That's going to give Markinen a lot more opportunity to get these rebounds. I'm loving it. Let's take Markinen over eight and a half rebounds. And who I actually like pairing this with is I like pairing this with Mobley. And we're taking his over 15 and a half points and rebounds right here. We can see this is minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 131 on Caesars. And he's cast this in nine out of his last 10. He's cast this in 96% of games this year. He's only went under this in one game. Now, there's some stuff to look at. We're going to look at it. Obviously, Price Picks is not going to set a line. These sports books are not going to set a line at 15 and a half if they've gone over it 96% of the time. So, hold your horses. So, let's take a look at the, uh, first we'll just take a look at the Grizzlies points and rebounds defense. Then we'll go into why this play um, is on the board in general. So, Grizzlies are 11th in the league for points allowed, 27th in the league for rebounds, and then against centers, they are 19th in the league for points allowed. So, bottom, like bottom 10, bottom 11 teams. And then they're actually 29th in rebounds allowed. So they're like second from dead last for rebounds allowed. So definitely uh, loving him to get a lot of rebounds tonight. But when we take a look at his minutes played every game, he's averaging 33 minutes this season. And he's just coming back from injury. We can see he had played December 2nd, December 6th. Then took a break till from December 6th to January 29th because he was uh he was hurt. So we can see he played 21 minutes and 22 minutes. I'm expecting 23, 24 minutes tonight, similar with what he's been playing recently. Um, we can see he's he's cast this in 19 straight games on the road. Um, this year he went nine for nine in away games. Now we can see again. This is um. This is with him playing less minutes. So when we say that he's capped out at 25 minutes, let's say, he's only played two games. And it's only the two games that he's played since coming back from injury that he's played less than 25 minutes. One of these, he got 10 points with nine rebounds. One of these, he got eight points with three rebounds. Now, him only getting three rebounds is absurd. Um, he should get plenty. I'm expecting seven, eight rebounds versus the Grizzlies. I don't know what his rebound line is at. Six and a half. So they have him projected for around six or seven rebounds tonight. He's also shooting this, around seven attempts per game. He shot seven attempts in both of these games um, since coming back from injury. So the first game he made five out of seven. The second game he made three out of seven. I'm expecting him around that rate. I expect him to make four or five shots tonight, which would put him at eight to 10 points from shots made. And then he's also shooting one or two free throws per game as well. 
So depending on how that goes, I'm expecting maybe 10, 11, 10, 10 to 12 points this game. And then I expect him to make up the rest with rebounds allowed. I mean, with rebounds, because like I said, I have him projected seven, eight rebounds. So I'm expecting him for a projected of around 18 to 19 points and rebounds. So when you compare 18 to 19 projection to 15 and a half, I mean, that's a 20% projection difference, 25% projection difference. That's the reason that I'm on Mobley so much tonight. Now, obviously, you could just say I could have just been straight up, oh, he's hit this 96% of the time this year. Oh, this is a lock. Obviously, that's not the truth. Nothing is a lock. Nothing is guaranteed. But I do think that if he gets at least 20 minutes, um, he's probably not going to go 30. We know that. Probably. I mean, he might. You never know. But um, he is on a second leg of a back-to-back. -back that it could affect his minutes as well. So I'm expecting 20 to 25 minutes. And I do think he gets this even playing those low minutes. So let's lock it in with confidence, guys. Evan Mobley over 15 and a half. You can pair these two together in this two pick right here. And let's lock it in, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the free Discord. The link is in the pinned comment.